Hey, what's good everyone? It's your boy B and I'm here to talk about a new solution for those of you with the new M1 MacBook Pros that just dropped not too long ago. It's hard to get this triple display going, but I've got a solution right here, which is the pluggable triple display dock. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 Now let's go. Now let's go. <laughs> it's another exclusive. Uh-huh. Yeah. SOC and Marlo. So, let's get it. Let's go. Come on. Yeah. Remember when that's just a tap on. So yeah, thank you guys for joining me. I've got my temporary setup back here with an old display dock that I use with my old Intel based Mac. I've got a review up here. It still works. But for those of you who now are looking for man, what's my triple display solution going to be for simplistic docking of a new M1 MacBook Pro? I think this is it right here. Pluggable has an amazing history of great customer service. The products are rock solid. You can see this one's still working years later. And I even integrated with the eGPU, which you can see the review also in the description. But all in all, it's just been a good solution. So why this one? Why not any of the others? Well, in essence, really, I just want one single Thunderbolt cable to go for my Mac that will run all my setup. I'm talking displays, I'm talking ethernet connections, I'm talking multiple USBs and a sufficient number of them so that I can get the work that I need to be done, done quickly, without any questions. And this one fits the bill. So what's so good about it? Well, first of all, it can power the M1 Mac, which is a pretty powerful machine. In this case, I've got an M1 Max, and this pluggable dock supports 96 watts worth of power. So in most cases, it's gonna at least hold, but typically is driving additional charge into the battery. That's definitely good news. It also has seven USB ports, so I can connect my USB interface, webcam, USB mic, adapter for the camera, like the cam link for Elgato or any of those other sorts of capture cards. I mean, it's just got all the support you need, so that works well also. It also has a USB card reader, which is pretty nice, although you don't need it on the MacBook Pro because they've re-added that to the side. So the dock is working. I mean, it works well. It's solid. It can be set and mounted vertically or it can be set and mounted horizontally. In my case, I'm not a big fan of wire, so this is tearing me up back here. But once I get that all cleaned up and we know that the solution works, I'll get it tucked away, hit away. It'll be all to the good. So it is a little pricey and it was really hard to find because recently, as all the supply chain drama has been going on, it's been hard to get this one in stock, but I was notified they had some, so I figured I'd give it a test. I'll cut over and just show you guys a little bit of the physical characteristics through an unboxing. We'll be right back with some final thoughts. Boys shop at the finish line, men don't stop to the finish line. Go talk while it still is time, promote the rock and still it shines. That's full thought, Romans 10 and 9, truth, cold cock, Jones in his prime. We so so here's the back of the dock. You've got the 96 watt power supply. You've got the Thunderbolt 3 connection, the single cable that goes to the computer. And then you actually have two display inputs for each display, either DisplayPort or HDMI. There, of course, is the LAN connection for a direct internet connection, and you've got five USB Type A ports. So if you flip it around, you can see on the far left, you've got the SD card input. You also have the Thunderbolt 3 port and also another USB type A port. And then of course the headphone jack. And here you can see demonstrated the fact that it can sit up vertically or it can be mounted horizontally if you just sit it there without the mount. Now the pluggable website is pretty good, not only for picking which dock is best for you, but it also does a good job of giving background on which dock will work with the new M1 Max. Now here I'm specifically comparing two different docks that provide nearly the same purpose. There's the TBT3-UDZ, and the TBT3-UDV. Now the newer one is the UDZ, and that's the one that we're replacing here because it has an additional USB type A port, and it also has the dual display input options. So that's the reason I go with this one. It also is directly compatible with the M1 new MacBook Pros. Here's a table of some of the differences between these two, just to give you a sense. Feel free to pause it and have a look here, but this is the one that's been in high demand and the one that ultimately I ended up selecting. So the verdict, a success, I'd go for it. So highly recommend it. 
that if you want two 4K displays, it'll drive those. If your display port or your HDMI or one of your concerns are, hey, can I connect? It's got both of those capabilities for each of the monitors. And even if you want to use one of your USB ports for additional monitor, you could. When I say USB, I'm talking about the USB-C or the Thunderbolt connector on your MacBook Pro. You could drive more there if you needed to. So all in all, I recommend it. Worth the price tag if you're looking for some convenience and simplicity. Thank you guys always for checking it out. Appreciate the support of the channel, both the music, the technology, the vlogs. Mad love for that. And if you got any questions, feel free to hit me up. We'll talk to y'all the next time. Peace. See, not them boys, they cannot save you.